All right, y'all. Thank you for coming by. Got some big ass pieces to uh, split up here. Pumpkin brought me some. Come out of a big ass tree he took down. And uh, I'm gonna do it the easy way or the lazy way, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and I I used to do this with uh, wedges and and malls, and I still I still do when I got a little bit of of rounds that I can handle and, and split them up to where I can get them on a, a super splitter. These splitters, of course, this is a, a ram splitter, uh, inverted log splitter is what they call it. This is a Coyote CK3510. And I did some research. I wanted to make sure that uh, the hydraulics would be stout enough to, uh, to use this. Uh, and it does fine. I got to get the RPMs up to 2,000 or better. I usually get them around 2,200 or something like that. And it does pretty good. Now, it's not fast, but it's faster than a mall or the splitting wedges and stuff like that. So let me uh, let me turn you around. So I've had this splitter right at a year now, and uh, I, I like it so far. And I, I don't use it as much as I thought I would, but when I have big, you can see big some big white oak right there in the back. You know, I don't I don't buy log trucks. This is all tree service wood or down trees that I deal with. So this thing has been handy, and I don't have a hydraulic splitter that i mainly use it's a kinetic splitter it's a super splitter if you've seen any of my other videos you've seen it i don't have a, a single wedge hydraulic splitter other than this one that runs off the tractor hydraulics and and for a little old tractor like this these coyotes have a stout hydraulic pump and uh i'm telling you it works well now i have to stay away from knotty piece, pieces or crotches i split hickory with it and oak as long as I stay away from the crotches, it does just fine. Uh, and I have to do the same thing with my super splitter. Um, there's only one complaint I got about it, those holes that they blew out or cut out for your pins on your loader pins. It's too much gap. You can kind of see there. And every now and then, it'll pop off on me one side. I don't... Yeah, it doesn't happen a whole lot, but I may have to do some welding and rig that up. I keep a pipe here in my loader. Every now and then one will get stuck on the wedge, and I lay it, I lay it across in that bungee cord and prop it up against the uh, plate. And on the return stroke, it'll hit that piece of wood and pop it off. And uh, I've got me some marks here on the return stroke. That's uh, pieces for 16 inch. That was for 20 inches. I, I used to uh, I used to carry a restaurant wood, Southern Reds here, and uh, around my area, and he went through almost two core every month, uh, quite a bit of wood, and uh, I, we parted ways. It was on good terms. It was nothing like that. He was he was a pleasure to deal with, and I may get with him again, but it was just I just couldn't hardly keep up with all my other chores and and that too. How I came about getting this splitter was uh, by accident or injury, rather. Uh, a little over a year ago, about a year and a half ago, I was splitting. And as a matter of fact, it was for uh, restaurant wood. A big, he liked oakery, I mean oakery. He liked oak and hickory. And he liked it big, he liked it green, like I mentioned. And it was the one Saturday morning, it was early. It was a little after 7 o'clock, about 20 degrees. Down here is in February. And uh, I broke my thumb uh nearly lost nearly busted the end off of it i don't know if you can tell but it's pretty flattened out and it's crooked it's a little deformed i don't know if you can tell you can kind of see a scar where it um uh, it broke the tip of my thumb off took the thumbnail with it <laughs> i ain't gonna lie I, mean, I don't care if you think i'm a sissy or not i nearly passed out i, I tried to keep working i didn't know i didn't know how bad it was i thought well just keep going you know and uh you know how it is and mashing your fingers splitting wood i, I know a bunch of y'all know that oh man it got to bleeding and i started uh my feet started getting weak i mean my legs started getting weak and i, I thought man i better get on home before i pass out down here nobody was around anyway they ended up having to go to the emergency room uh it, it got to hurting so bad i couldn't believe it but i tore up some nerve 
endings in my thumb and it's still not right i still don't have uh i can't do undo a, a kid's uh seat belt like their little uh child's seat you know i can't do it with my left thumb i don't have all the uh feeling in it but anyways could have been worse thank the lord it wasn't but that's how i come about the splitter this little thumb accident cost me about eight hundred dollars and i used to what i would do is use these totes there's one right there and i'd use it as a log lift kind of i'd roll big rounds like this up on that lift it up with my tractor wrestle them onto the super splitter and then split them and that ain't no easy thing even even with the tractor helping because you got to wrestle it through the super splitter and stuff so anyways i got to doing some figuring and uh i bought this uh they've gone up considerably since i bought this i've had this like i said right out a year bought it last summer i think i got it around june or july i gave sixteen hundred dollars for this splitter and i'm pretty sure that was uh that may have that was that was total everything shipping and everything and i looked at their website today and they're two thousand two hundred fifty dollars now but anyways i didn't know i thought maybe somebody out there could be curious about something similar with a similar tractor and uh i don't think there's any need just my opinion on in a four-way wedge they offer this and it's like 475 dollars. i doubt i'll ever get one i don't think it's got the i don't think the hydraulics are stout enough to push it but this single wedge does fine for me and my setup this this seems to work okay so Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. If you ain't too much trouble, hit the like button. Uh, leave me a comment. Oh, and uh, subscribe, please. Thank you all. Let me see if I can get some of this wood split up. I'll, uh, I'll get a camera set up and we'll, we'll go at it. Thank you.
Well, I just about got it all split. All I like is that little bit there. My wife texts me, won't know when I'm coming home, so I better get on back. Uh, my little boy turns, my oldest boy turns eight tomorrow, and he's got some buddies spending the night tonight. But pretty good little pile of ash. That super splitter will make it look pretty when I get done. And what I like about that single wedge ram splitter is uh, you can pile it up. You can paint your piece, pick it up, and uh, finish it off close to the pile, you know. So that makes it pretty nice. I was just about done splitting the cell for this upcoming season. I was going to start on next, but I'll, uh, I'll be able to sell this uh, this year, what I'm saying. But thank you all for sticking with me to the end. I appreciate that. And uh, thank you in advance for liking, commenting, and subscribing. See you all.